It is 926. In 1985, the organization God's Love We Deliver was created in response to the AIDS pandemic. In the wake of COVID-19, they're once again forced to pivot their efforts to continue their life-saving work. God's Love We Deliver president and CEO Karen Pearl is joining us now on how we can help. Also information on the new Food is Medicine bill that's being proposed. Karen, good morning. Thank you for being on with us. Thank you for what In, lo in God's Love does. Well, it's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. So this really was a pivoting moment for you all. Tell us what you had to do to keep up and address the concerns of COVID-19. Sure, everything at God's Love has been changed from our protocols to our process. We've streamlined our menu. We have obviously instituted masks and social distancing. We have reduced the numbers of volunteers and staff who are in the building. So some of our staff is working from home, but our key activity, which is cooking, packaging, and delivering meals for people who are so sick that they can't shop or cook for themselves has to go on. So everybody who's working in our direct service areas is actually in the building, doing the cooking, the shopping, welcoming volunteers, keeping our facility sanitized and clean. So all of that has changed. The one thing that has stayed the same, though, is the love that goes into every meal from our volunteers and our staff, because what we're all All about is helping people to heal. And what about the social distancing that has to take place now and also screening uh, volunteers who want to help out in this endeavor? Right. We screen every volunteer and staff member who comes into the building to make sure that nobody has any symptoms and that they are feeling ready to work. If anybody is at all challenged by that, even if they say, no, we just think it's allergies. That's why we're sniffling and coughing. That please don't come in today. Our, our number one goal is the safety of our staff, volunteers, and most especially our clients. And we're very, very careful to screen. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't do our work without our volunteers. That's true every single day since God's Love was founded 35 years ago. So we are very grateful that there are people who want to come in and help us out in all of the critical areas of our work. I'm looking at the client number. Um, you've brought on a, a new 1,000 new clients. Is that right? And you're We have 3,000 applications? Yeah, so what has happened is that so many food programs just closed basically overnight. And so lots of people reached out to God's Love because they knew we were open and that we were here for people who are already struggling with illness. This is our everyday reality. So our clients are the most vulnerable. And when people call and they say that they're sick and hungry, we do our very best to get them on program. That's obviously been slowed down with a list of 3,000 people, but we're working our way through it and we are growing about fivefold. It's just, it's crazy. Our every week, you know, right. we just bring on hundreds of more clients. What's the criteria? Do you, do you have to sadly turn some folks away? Uh, well, we turn people away who don't meet our eligibility criteria, which is you have to be already sick with a diagnosis and you have to have some activity of daily living that is compromised that makes it impossible for you to shop or cook, like carrying groceries, like standing at a stove, picking mm. up a heavy pot. If you can't do those things because of your illness, mm -hmm. you qualify for our program. Talk about the food is medicine bill. What are you trying to achieve by that? So the Food is Medicine bill was introduced in the House of Representatives in Washington uh, that by the Food is Medicine Working Group, which is chaired by Congressman McGovern from Massachusetts. It's a bipartisan group, and they want to uh, study the effect of medically tailored meals, the kind of meals that God's Love provides and other organizations around the country. On the, uh, they want to study the impact on people who are benefiting from Medicare. Mm -hmm. And so they are going to put up a number of pilots across the country, support them both in the meal preparation and delivery, and then in the research uh, to add to the evidence base that food is medicine works, that providing people with food that is tailored to their specific medical condition is what people need to help heal. You know, you mentioned this, and I have food allergies. I had a woman on uh, last week who has a food pantry in Kansas who is able to tailor her meals uh, mm -hmm. for delivery to people with food allergies. I'm curious if uh, God's Love We Deliver also does that. 
So we don't, we do focus on allergies. It's, it's not necessarily down to every individual ingredient. Like if you're allergic to fish, we don't send you fish. That's a perfect example. And we also have a kitchen that has none of the more obvious allergies. Like we don't have any nuts in our production and we don't have any shellfish. Some of the things that a lot of people are allergic to. Mm -hmm. um, but what we do is we tailor the meals really for the person's medical conditions. So somebody, for instance, who has kidney failure, who cannot process a lot of liquid, we're very conscious of that. So we make sure that all that liquid is reduced in their diet, but that they're still getting the right amount of proteins, mm -hmm. uh, carbohydrates, vegetables, all the other things that they need for their health and well-being. Can we help out? What can New Yorkers do to help you? I love New Yorkers. They're so great. So there are three things people can do. One is they can donate. Uh, we always, always, no, our clients never pay for meals. Our, our meals are prepared with love and free of charge to our clients. So uh, people can donate and help us do it. $10 is a meal. Uh, we would love for that to, for people to help us with that. Mm -hmm. We can have people volunteer. You can go on our website and hit the volunteer button. And if you're healthy and well and you can do it, that's great. Hopefully this uh, virus ends at some point right. and um, that will be a little easier for people and who are worried a little bit about their own health too. And then the third is to be an ambassador. So if there are people where you live or you know or in your family who out. are already sick, yeah, let, mm -hmm. let them know about us. Tell them to call and we'll be happy to do our best to get them their first meal. All right, CEO Karen Pearl, God's love we deliver. Thank you for what you do. And hopefully, Thank yes, you, New Yorkers will come through and help you out. I hope so, too. They always do. Yeah, you're right. They always do. Thank you, Karen.